MagSafe. So there's a lot of cool things about it. Some important, some, well, less important. Uh, but I want to talk about it. And I kind of got this video idea as I was getting rid of my old phone and I had to throw away, well, my old cases. Uh, yeah, I bought like six or eight cases for my old phone, which I shouldn't really have done, uh, seeing as I don't have it anymore. And so it was like $200 to waste. Uh, however, I do have a couple of them, as you can see right now, as well as a couple other MagSafe accessories. So I know I'm a little late to the party. You know, MagSafe has been around on the iPhone 12 since 2020. Yeah, that was a little while ago. Uh, but I still want to talk about this as I thought it would be kind of fun. Um, so I'll talk about MagSafe, just some details about it. Uh, and then we're going to be taking apart some MagSafe cases. Um, I won't be taking apart the charger or the leather wallet uh, because I still do use those. Uh, but I just want to use them as little examples here. So let's hop right into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is, well, what is MagSafe good for? And so I have a charger right here, and I think it's interesting just the way it was sort of implemented, right? And I also do want to share a detail here. Uh, Apple is actually going to be sharing the uh, patent for MagSafe with other people, so that way other people can implement this uh, type of wireless charging into their devices, which I do think is pretty cool. Anyways, the MagSafe charger. Um, well, essentially, how MagSafe works is there's a ring of magnets around the outer edge of the charger as well as on uh, cases. I have an Apple case here, uh, but I also have a third-party case. This is not Apple's case, but it is third-party. Um, and as you can see, there actually is a ring of magnets right here, as well as this little uh, notch. <laughs> it almost looks like a dynamic island, if I'm being entirely honest. Um, but the way it works is the magnets just attach like that, and uh, this side would be plugged into the wall and it would be charging your phone just like that. Now, here's the thing. I'm using two phones to record this video, so it's kind of like an A and B shot. Um, so I don't actually have a phone to put in these cases as of right now, uh, mainly because <laughs> the phone I had for these cases is uh, not here anymore. I do think it would still be kind of fun to talk about. Anyways, so yeah, MagSafe. Pretty simple. You just attach it and it works uh, every time. I find it really awesome. Just attach it and works. Now, something cool, obviously some Apple Magic that uh, obviously had to happen, you can't have enough product without Apple Magic, uh, is when you attach a MagSafe charger to the phone, it will it will show this little uh, animation. I'll put a video of it on screen. And it's just one of those cool software things. It's like, you don't have to do that, but that's Apple. Like, they're gonna do something fun and something extra just cause they can. Uh, as well as when you attach a MagSafe case to a phone, It'll actually, if it's by Apple, it'll actually play another little animation um, on the screen just matching to the color of the case. Uh, I would show a video of that one, except I never even thought about it. Uh, but if you do want to see something like what I'm talking about, uh, there's plenty of videos on YouTube. Just go look up, you know, different MagSafe accessory animations, stuff like that. I find it pretty cool. So now here is um, the wallet, and I just want to show it really quickly too. So you pull it out of this out of its little um, Apple box, and it's it's really simple. There's just some some uh, information behind it. Uh, but yeah, this is just the black leather one. And if I pair it with a case, you'll see it just attaches like that. Now leather with the silicone is probably your best bet, uh, just because it will stay attached easiest. Um, this one. This is just like a plastic. It still is attached relatively nice, but it will slide a little bit easier, uh, which can be an issue uh, because it is your wallet. Um, however, if you're gonna put a wallet, like one of these just like on top of your phone, like without a case or anything, uh, I have noticed it to slide off really easily, especially if you're gonna drop your phone, it just pops right off. So yeah, uh, that could be an issue right there. All right, so uh, now the part you know we've been waiting for, Let's take apart these cases and, and just see what's going on the inside. Uh, with any luck, hopefully we'll find a little NFC ring that um, actually tells the phone to light up the certain color of the case. I think that'd be pretty cool. So I have my uh, Jerry Rig Everything knife um, just because I really like it. I think it's cool and it's going to be what is doing our job for us today. Now on the inside, there is um, a little ring, which I think it, it just kind of shows where to start. Now I'm going to take the knife and just kind of go across like the edges and just see if we can cut the fabric at all. Um, I'm betting this is not going to be an easy 
thing to accomplish uh, based on all the glue and, and just stuff like that. So I'm not sure how long it's going to take me. I might end up having to break quite a lot. <laughs> um, but nonetheless, I, I'll, I'll uh, cut back to when I can finally get a little piece of this going. All right, so thankfully, kind of like once you get it going, it does actually start to pull. Um, I kind of been sort of just kind of getting at it, cutting it. I tried going at it from the back, although I do think I'm going to stay going at the at the front first. Now, you do just kind of want to be careful around um, the ring. I'm going to try not to damage it, though I don't really know what's going on under here, so there's a chance I'm going to damage it um, anyway. But, you know, it's it's just how it's going to kind of be. The worst part, though, is is the sides, like where it's just kind of glued on there. Like, that, uh, it's pretty terrible right there. Okay, quick pause. I'm kind of just trying to get it over or get it open. But there's such an interesting sound, like here, like, like, listen to this as I pull it. Like, that's kind of a good sound, I'm not gonna lie. It kind of makes me cringe a little bit as I'm uh, tearing apart, like, a $50 case, but, yeah, we'll just ignore that. All right, we're back. So, took a little while, um, but as you can see, I've pulled out the ring kind of in the, in the center here. Um... And here's really our, our good look at the magnets. Now, they're not that easy to see, uh, but it's all the little silver, uh, I don't even, it almost like little squares, I guess, but slightly more rounded. Um, and it's just, they kind of just go all, all around the complete edge of it, but it's kind of cool. And then on the other side is, as well, just the silicone. And so it is just tiny little thin ring. Uh, in the middle is just plastic and more silicone. There's no uh, extra magnets in the middle here. But that's that. Now, uh, of course, there is one more piece, uh, the longer little dynamic island shape magnet, which is right here, which I cannot really pull out. It's pretty stuck. <laughs> um, but you can see, well, here we go. Look, there we go. We pulled them out. And you'll see there's, here they are, just two little um, kind of rectangle shaped magnets. And that's what's kind of lining up your wallet for example or or something else so i did some looking uh at this little ring and i noticed you can actually pull off the magnets uh almost like they're their own little like ring themselves like they're all kind of glued together which is kind of interesting um and i really wish i could see the little nfc circle <laughs> um however i don't know that i'm going to be able to get to that it seems like it's pretty stuck in here in a sandwich somewhere. Uh, and I don't know of an easy way to really be able to get it, which is kind of annoying. Uh, but it is in there somehow controlling uh, the device. All right, so this next phone case should be a bit easier to get into uh, since there is less going on. And I can actually just reach under here with my fingernail uh, onto the tape, which it's kind of funny how much easier it is to get into this one. So let me um, try and cut this one open with the knife and I'll get right back to you. All right, and here we are. So I find it interesting. You can see there's actually like um, the same sort of top shape magnet style uh, for the ring. However, for the bottom, um, I think it's even more funny. The two little these things are actually a different shape than the ones that I pulled out of the other uh, case. So, yeah, I, I think this has been pretty cool. I think it was nice to kind of learn uh, sort of what's been going on in here. I know It's been hard for me to do this video. Um, I've been sick the past few days, and I keep wanting to cough, uh, so I have to keep stopping mid-sentence. But, yeah, I mean, that's, that's really been about it. So, if you guys did enjoy this video, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell as it helps me out a ton. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment. Uh, let me know what you guys think. So, hope you guys did enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next one. So, yeah. Bye, guys.